<laughs> oh god, I'm mellow. Oh, whoopsie daisy. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Um, I stood on the ground, ain't that lovely? Um, I know it's been a while since I've recorded a video. I think it's about five days or something, I think. So I do apologise for that last one too, there's no commentary as well. That's because I haven't been... For two reasons. Um, as you can tell, I have not been feeding too great. Um... <laughs> God, I should really mute myself and do that. My bad. <laughs> yeah, isn't really coughing though, it's... Just I haven't been feeling though, like, cold somewhere lately. And second of all... My PC's been crashing a lot lately, so... There's been several times when I've gone to the court and... It's just crashed, so I haven't been able to... But yeah, but I think... It's about time I do push on recording. Now, even if it's only, like, 20 minutes long or something. Because I'm Adventure Rank 40 now, my round level's level 5. And, um... I got a 5 star from the Sanded Rush banner. Oh, here. Yeah. I finally got a 5 star. I was hoping for Jean or something like that. You'll never guess who I got. Someone I have no clue about. <laughs> I did not even know you could get her from a 5 star thing for it. Hold on a second. Oh yeah, she is fair. We still are, like the new characters that seems to be added to this stuff, so I'm glad I got a character and such. She looks really cool, but yeah. Now I'm gonna be saving up these bushes or this here to pull these ones. So we're done. Oh god, I feel another coughing coming. What the hell? Sorry about that. I might just let my leave my car sin because it might be comical, who knows? Ah oh, my poor cat, I just woke her up. <laughs> that ain't good. Yeah, well it's about time we continue on with the story missions because five days and I've not done a single quest. I've just been going around doing daily commissions and been playing all those car back card game. God I've been playing it way too much. But yeah, I uh, hold on. Or switch to Lumine, don't we? This there we go. World is full of <clears throat> oh, God. Now, I really apologise for this video. I actually really like the sound of me coughing and almost killing myself. And please stick around. <laughs> oh, God. It's weird too because I only started coughing as soon as I started recording too. What the hell? No, this ain't normal. Yeah, here we are. We're going to be cooking with Jade today. God, I love how scenic this game is. I really do. It has been a long time since I last set foot in the Nation of Wind. A friend of mine from Mondstadt would always bring a few bottles of locally brewed dandelion wine whenever he came to visit me in Liyue. It must be said that the famed liquor of the land of Pastorals is far better than Sumeru's frigid snake wine. <laughs> uh, it's been a long time since I've heard some of these voice. It's uh, soothing to hear it once again. Here we are, though. Oh boy, this is where, literally where we ended the previous episode, but... Not the previous episode, one before, no commentary. Yeah, the previous video I've done, the reason why there's no commentary, is purely because I wanted to record something. So, because I've... 
it was some time since I did, even though it's posted the same day. <sighs> it looks like the hilly trolls are still using it. It's a bit impolite, but we gotta cut the line. <laughs> I completely lost my train of thought, I'm sorry. Incoming. God damn it, Paimon. Why need to turn my audio down a bit too? Let's see, Daisy. There we go. Now I can hear myself speak. Speed of light. <laughs> now. I know I don't get comments on my video, my videos, because I mean, not many people watch my name, but those of you that do, I truly do appreciate you. However, it would be nice if you could make a decision for me. Whether or not you like non-commentary videos, and that's how you want to see the campaign of this game roll out. Just... Like, doing story missions, no commentary, or do you prefer commentary? Even, who knows? If I did know no commentary, I could probably upload every day. Unless I really could. Otherwise, you might be stuck like this every now and then. Plus, you have to deal with sick me too, so I'll leave it up to you to decide. They're still super <coughs> Shame to let it go to waste. This soup looks like it could be used as our hydro elemental protection. Let's fire it up and begin our experiment. Okay. We're ready to go. Paimon will help remember which one of the three is which. Use That's Paimon good to, to keep making the pot hotter until we get the results we need. Mr. Zhongli said that the shinier and bluer the ore gets, the better it is. So, pay close attention. Okay. Ooh. That's why I kept down, but... Actually, I should probably have a Hydro character too, shouldn't I? Just in case it needs to be cooled down, you know? It is as the stars foretold. Yeah. Whoa! That light came from the first note to Lucas Jade! Uh, Hilly trolls are surrounding us again! Were they attracted by the light? Such nosy oh, neighbors! <laughs> Let's take care of them and continue again after! Yeah, not like we're using their property. <laughs> and then they, they're getting mad at us for using it, you know. Lee and all of this, though. I'd expect him to be standing nearby or something. Because he did come with us. <laughs> oh, God. I'm guessing that one over there. Oh, God damn. Look how muscular his legs are. Holy moly, he looks like he's been hit in the gym, don't he? God damn. Speed of light. Okay. Oh. I've got another cough coming. Thank good. <laughs> God, they sound bad. 
Oh god. Painful. Yes, sir. It was so much shinier than the rest. Let's go with that one. Let's head back to the Jade Mystery to buy some jade, shall we? Can I get in before? Don't blink. No, you can't. Okay, that's a shame. I almost want to do it more. Okay, you can't. This request is literally just good. Oh, yeah. I forgot. <laughs> okay, well, let's go back then, leaving it there. Hello, mister. You're back, my friends. I've kept the goods for you. Which of them would you like? The fired one, please. Exactly. That's the one Paimon remembers, too. No problem. If you have your eye on this one, you can have it. Then we'll take a box of the third type of jade. Done. <laughs> All the same, and uh, pardon me for asking, but I'm curious. Whatever do you need this much top quality Noctilucus jade for? Hmm. I suppose it would not hurt to tell you. We need them to make implements for the rite of parting. Parting? Oh, dear. I I'd heard the rumors, but had given much thought to them. This... This means that Rex Lapis really is... Oh, it's hard to believe. Even though the Jade Mystery has been in decline, we have always been under his protection. It is said that when our lord lost his way while going incognito in the city 200 years ago, it was a spoon from the Jade Mystery that he had used to sample the local delights. Alas, alas, all things must pass. <sighs> well, if this is to be used to say farewell to Rex Lapis, then I shall sell this to you at half the price. Aww. Are you sure? You didn't want to even give us an inch before. Well, I mean, it is Rex Lapis we're talking about. If not for our Lord's protection, this city wouldn't exist as it does now. No proprietor could earn money off such a thing. Oh, I'm sure Rex Lapis will feel your sentiment, boss. In the safe hands of the Liu Achising and good, honest merchants such as yourself, I, for one, believe that Liu e will continue to prosper as it always has done. So let's not get ourselves down just yet. Oh god, my voice. Oh god. Alright. Thank you, my friends. What's with me getting all sentimental like this? I'll practically be giving away all my fortune at this rate. Now that we've made our choice, let's take this Noctilucus Jade back. Okay. Hey, wait a minute. He said it was half price. Not that we could leave without paying. <laughs> oh, right. I'm sorry. I must have forgotten to do that, too. Let me see. As I thought, I didn't bring any. Oh, zombie. <laughs> uh, this is why we love you. Any what? More. Mora. My apologies. Another oversight on my part. What a strange take on the value of money. <laughs> a local of Lira who doesn't have any money on their mind. Do this isn't some small sum. Oh, wait, didn't Child give us some advanced funds earlier? I have them on me. That's a relief. Have a look, boss. Is it enough? <laughs> it's fine, just enough for half price. <laughs> Though, to be honest, it'd be all right even if the sum wasn't quite enough. Well, it's settled then. Let's take this jade to Eugene Terrace. That's where we plan to hold the right. Look at you bossing everyone around. You didn't cough up a single Mora. Yes, we need to find child for more funding. <laughs> ah, great minds think. <laughs> Look at the sass. <laughs> hmm, it seems that we must. 
I will keep that in mind. Thanks, <laughs> both of you. I'm just gonna leech off him. But not to Lucas Jade in place. Okay. I should be fast if we just did this. Right. Yeah, sorry I'm not talking so much. I mean, it's perhaps you prefer about you, and who knows. Yeah, it's just it really hurts when I speak. <laughs> Yo, my foot wasn't even hurting earlier. Now all of a sudden it's just a mess. Oh, they finally removed his corpse, so. Oh, god damn. We can leave the jade here. I have already called for a jewelsmith to shape them into the implements that we will need. Ah, yes. I have yet to go and see child. So, as for the <laughs> jewelsmith's remuneration... Fingers crossed, child will be embarrassed. <laughs> Guess we can't do anything else. Also, is this where we're doing the rite of parting? Yes. I have already rented this location, and have begun making preparations for the rite. So we're just using the scene of crime to... The Liu Achising have agreed to this arrangement. But when something this big happened here, should suspects like us really be at the crime scene? We might get caught by the Millilith. Although with that said, since we got back from Dwayne Karst, none of those pesky Millilith soldiers have come chasing after us. I wonder what that's about. <laughs> also, the... Uh... Rex Lapis Vessel. Traditionally, we call it the Exuvia. Oh. Ah, right. That's what it was called. You seem to know everything, Mr. Zhongli. Um, so, was this Exuvia hidden away by the Qixing? I mean, we haven't even figured out who the murderer is. One must think that they already have someone in mind. Or perhaps they already know. Surely they must have found all the evidence that there is to find here. Seems a bit too easy going. These things are for the authorities in Yujing Terrace to consider. Trying to help would probably only add to their troubles. I mean, he's got a point. Before the rite is conducted, the Exuvia will be kept temporarily in the Golden House. Golden House? <laughs> the only mint in Liyue. Which is to say the only mint into that. All the mora that flows throughout the world is minted there. Ooh. Wow. I guess that would probably be the most secure location, huh? Oh, no. Paimon was thinking about <laughs> anything bad. Paimon thinks it suits Morax. But why do you know this, Mr. Zhongli? Since the rite of parting has the approval of the Qixing, it is a semi-official event. As such, there is already some limited information available. They must have some ulterior motives. Chingxing provide the location and child for funds. <laughs> Perhaps each has their motives. But this is the capital of commerce. A little exploitation once in a while is not unacceptable. In Liyue, where the god of contracts reigns, only contracts may not be betrayed. I, for one, have no issue with little maneuvers outside their remit. Well then, we should go and prepare the perfumes used in the rite. Right. Perfumes? Where will we get those? Do we buy them? No. Perfumes used to honor the gods <clears throat> must be freshly decocted. The quality of the silk flowers we require is also special. Silk flower petals contain a fibrous material of good quality, often used in brocade making. Its scent, however, is most elegant, and is especially suited for solemn events, like giving offerings to gods and adepti. It's time for Zhang Li's lectures on high society again! <laughs> oh god, what's that face? 
We shall not speak of the details right now. Follow me. We shall go to the merchants to purchase our ingredients. It appears he's taken a bit of a liking to Paimon. <laughs> That's cute. I'm gonna build my list of sauce on that one, though. Don't buy silk flowers. Okay. Perhaps I will try non-commentary videos. At least for a few of them anyway, you know. See how it goes. Hey boss, do you sell silk flowers here? Silk flowers? We certainly do. Which kind would you like? Which kind? The uh the oh, good God. kind? The best kind? Remind Paima what kinds there are again. Ugh, you ignorant shoppers. Always coming in here with your stupid questions. Golden Housemaiden, Valley Weaver, and Fate's Yearning. One of each to start with, if you don't mind. Mm. My goodness, this gentleman is quite the connoisseur. You two must be his servants. Uh, please refrain from <laughs> any further attempts to contribute. But you don't even recognize me? I'm sorry. Ah, yes. We've met before, haven't we? Sorry, Traveler. <laughs> I shouldn't have spoken to you in that tone. Now then, please peruse at your leisure. Do let me know if you have any further thoughts. Silk flowers exhibit different properties based on how their environmental conditions differ from their ancestral habitat. Nevertheless, these are fine specimens, excellently preserved. Just look at the abundant foliage here, and these stamens, glamorous as a maiden of the Golden House. This strain is an evergreen, and mostly grows under complex hydrological conditions. By contrast, this variety thrives in any dark, damp location, often in large clusters. Morphologically, it is distinguished by the profusion of petals and densely packed stamens, though its powerful scent gives it away just as easily. Oh, please keep talking high facts I don't understand to me. Oh, it's so sexy, isn't it? <laughs> Lastly, this strain is quite the recluse. Unlike its exuberant cousins, flowers and foliage are minimal, and when in season, it has a subtle yet enduring scent. It was first discovered by the ancients when they scaled the mountains in search of the Adepti. Silk flowers have all but disappeared from the wild today due to geographical changes over Liu's history. Most are not grown by horticulturalists. Wow! A true connoisseur! <laughs> Most of that was news even to me! I possess but a smattering of trivial knowledge. My traveler friend is the one to watch. They are on track to set foot in every corner of the world. What's so impressive about that? Oh, Mr. Zhang Li, you're way too humble. So, which silk flower did you want anyway? I'll take them all, boss. Oh, good. Here we go again. Again? How can I put this? When purchasing opera tickets, it is natural to decide based on which singer has the most melodious voice. The same logic applies when purchasing a pet bird. Nah, if it looks cute, I'm guessing it's simple as that. silk flower purchase is not an analogous case. The same logic does not apply. Perhaps you don't know. Tradition states that we should decoct perfume from different subspecies of silk flower when making an offering to a statue of the Seven. Rex Lapis will then make his own choice between the scents. Like several other tedious and complicated traditions, this one has become simplified over time. But this is the only rite of parting to take place for one of the Seven in 3,700 years. As such... 
I do think we should honor tradition down to the last detail in this case. Now that's settled. A question. <clears throat> do you have any mora on you? <laughs> oh, of course we don't. We're all brokies here. You forgot to bring money again? Oh, we? I see a pattern emerging here. By this point, I'd be more surprised if he'd remembered. Uh, if I may interject, did I hear you say that these flowers are to be an offering to the Lord of Geo himself? Yes, sir. Yes, in a sense. Gosh, well, why didn't you say so? I heard the awful news about what happened at this year's Rite of Dissension. It would be bad luck to say it out loud, but I've been worried about our dear Lord ever since. I'm worried that everything I've heard is true. Since these flowers will be used to glorify our Lord, they're free of charge. Oh. Just don't forget to pass on my regards. Are you serious? A lot of high quality Why flowers. Why wouldn't I be? I would be nobody if not for Rex Lapis. People here really do appreciate him, huh? If he hadn't written those poems in praise of my wares, they'd only be worth a fraction of what I can sell them for today. Huh. So much folklore here revolves around Liyue's deity making cameo appearances in support of local businesses. Thank you, boss. I think I speak for all of us when I say that your generosity has saved our skins. Our skins? You were the one who forgot <laughs> to bring money! Please, it's the least I could do. No. So, now that we've got the flowers, how do we make the perfume? Ideally, with the help of an expert. Unfortunately, none of my acquaintances have personal experience in the art of decoction. I think I know somebody. Talk about first world problems. <laughs> Hence, I need you to help by asking around in the city. Try the common folk, especially women. So this time we get to go around town looking for nice smelling ladies to talk to? Paimon likes this job. <laughs> I will wait for you near the Statue of the Seven. Meet me there when the perfume is ready. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we can find some good candidates at the Adventurer's Guild. <gasps> Let's ask Lauren. She's master of the Leeway Branch, right? Well, I already know who they're going to, but okay, <laughs> I guess. Oh, that would be fast if we did this. Yeah, I know he's doing perfumes, all right. Hello, Lan. Lan, we need to ask you for a favor. I stopped accepting commissions a long time ago. Sorry, you two, but you'll just have to ask another adventurer. Oh, it's not that kind of favor. It's just a teeny tiny thing. You smell great. Wow. Just wow. I'm just going to assume that you're either joking or being sarcastic. To be fair, I put a lot of effort into my appearance for someone who spends all their time in the great outdoors. But I smell great? Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> well, Paimon thinks you smell amazing. So come on, Lon. What's your secret if not perfume? Now that you mention it, yes, there is something. What is that scent? Oh, it must be from the Qingxing flowers I picked on the way back. I forgot I still had them with me. Aha! The truth is out. Lan's got a soft spot for wildflowers. Uh, no. They were for medicinal use only. Yeah, it's like... It's like we keep on trying to go in for them, and then we keep failing. <laughs> anyway, this is a pointless conversation. If you want to know about perfume, try talking to Chi Ming. The fortune teller, right? Paimon remembers she smells pretty good. Thanks, Lon. See you around. We could have just started the pants instead of trying to flop with her. Oh no. I mean, she's the one we need to go to. Okay. 
I remember I mentioned a perfume of that beforehand. Oh, it's her. Hello, how may I help? We've come to ask you a question. You smell good. <laughs> Let's go again. Uh, I... Sorry, you caught me off guard. Most people aren't so direct. <laughs> I think we need more time to get to know each other. <laughs> uh, we just wanted to know what perfume you normally use. Oh, <laughs> well, I don't actually use any. Oh. That said, some of the cosmetics I use are scented. Perhaps that's the cause of this confusion. Since I usually set up my stall by the docks, I avoid perfume like the plague, because Celestia forbid those lusty sailors catch a whiff and come hunting for the source. <laughs> That's the worst thing Paimon's heard all day! <laughs> While we're on the subject, have you never heard anyone mention Ying Ar's homemade perfume? Ying Air? Oh, as in scent of spring Ying Air? Yes, that's her. Many a rich family's daughter has gotten her to make perfume for them. Apparently, her homemade product is better than anything you'll find on the market. I just love the fact that <laughs> you smell great. <laughs> and everyone just assumes there's a lot of them. <laughs> I love this game's humor. Great! This is just the intel we need. Finally, we're getting somewhere. Okay, here we go. Except uh, going to Bagnut Earth came about perfume. <laughs> hello. Well, hello. You found me at last. I've been waiting for you. <laughs> what? How did you know we were coming? What would be she out of us flirting with everyone? Oh. I heard a rumor about a couple who were snooping around town looking for a sweet-smelling lady. <laughs> Actually, I was starting to worry you wouldn't find me. This is the ultimate test of my appeal, after all. Oh. Snooping around? Why are you making it out like we're bad people? What can I say? People love to talk. Maybe you ought to be more discreet in the future <laughs> if you don't want word to get around. Nah, that's fine. Relax. <laughs> I know why you're here. You want to get your hand on my homemade perfume, don't you? What kind would you like? Whichever one you're wearing. <laughs> I'm not wearing any, darling. Could it be that you've been bewitched by my natural scent? If so, I'm afraid it's one of a kind. Oh, she is so flirtatious. Whatever this is, you guys need to snap out of it right now. Hand her the silk flowers. Three in one go. My goodness. You have extreme tastes for someone your age. Maybe the rumors I heard were true after all. You're on the prowl and need some sweet-smelling ammunition. Is that it? <laughs> you got a problem with that? ay 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 who let this tiger out of the cage? <laughs> well, with your looks, who can blame you? If you've got it, flaunt it. <laughs> As one of my favorite poems goes, O oh, cherry tree, begrudge not thy blossoms as they are deflowered in the spring, for come winter, even thy sturdiest wood shall wither. <laughs> Uh, this, I love this quest. That went over Paimon's head a little. <laughs> In short, I'm happy to help. Traveler, you can be my assistant. But you'd better make sure I'm the only person on your mind while you're hanging around with me. Okay. So, where is a good place for making sweet, sweet perfume? Darupa Gorge. Where is that? Mondstadt? <laughs> We're only making some perfume. There's no need to go to such ridiculous lengths. Somewhere closer to home will do. Let's oh, go I for see. the kitchen at Wan Mean Restaurant. Okay. One day view with King R. <laughs> yeah, she is. I've had a word with Chef Mao. We can start work now. 
Okay. Are you ready to please me? What did you say? <laughs> I meant make me proud as my assistant. Obviously. Obviously. While I'm setting up, you can go and fetch some water. I think this is one of my favorite quests so far. <laughs> this is funniest. <laughs> fetch some water. Oh, from my back, I see. Okay. Ah, yeah, that's <laughs> the proper way to get around a building. Climb over it. Hello. This water will do nicely. Now, I need you to extract the silk flower essence using a crafting bench. Perfume making uses an altogether different technique from alchemy. Here, let me teach you. Very carefully, take hold of the mortar and pestle. Gently does it. Why is she holding herself like that? You need to keep your wrist firm so your hand doesn't slip. Now use your strong hand to stir it with a persistent rhythm. Keep going until the juices start to come out. <laughs> Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Ooh, you're a natural, like a fish to water. <laughs> I was going to call this episode Cooking with Jade, but I might have to call it something else at this rate. Oh my. Now take these and try it out on your own using a nearby crafting bench. Okay, Don't mistress. Don't forget to do all three. They look visually identical during the essence extraction process, but I will put them into separate containers when the perfume is ready. Okay. Right here, grind the silk flowers to extract using the essence. Oh, do they look pretty? Like the same. Okay. That's one. Jordan House. Valley Weaver. And Fates Yarning. Ooh. Nicely done. The silk flower essence to Ying Ha. I don't know how you say her name, actually. Wow, this is some exquisite silk flower essence. On to the next stage, the most important one of all. The essence is placed into water and simmered over a low heat until most of the water has boiled off. You must take care to control the heat during this process. If the temperature goes too high, it will affect the scent. So please, focus on controlling the heat. This is the final step. Okay. Don't waste a drop of that essence now. We want all of it in there. <laughs> I, I, I can't handle this. Oh god, this woman's got me messed up. At this point, I can't tell what's dirty talk and what's not. <laughs> A little guidance, you help her make some perfume. All three perfumes are ready. And you, my friend, were a wonderful assistant. A testament to the lengths you will go to for romance. It's so rare to see nowadays. I was thinking of you the whole time. Wow, you actually remembered my throwaway comment. You know, you're cuter than people give you credit for. <laughs> if I didn't have my guard up, I can see how easily one could be taken in. Anyway, shall I give you a brief overview of each scent? It might just help you match the right scent to the right occasion. Okay. Paima wants to hear this. 
<laughs> this first one is sweet as candy, straight out of a fairy tale. Younger women will love it. The second one is for those with more refined tastes, the first choice for daughters of high society. Finally, the third one has a soft but lingering scent, like a mist that captures the last light of dusk. Mature women adore this one. Oh. All clear? Don't get them mixed up now. You'll ruin the mood. I think I got it. Good. Be sure to come visit if you ever need help with anything, okay? I'll leave you with some parting words. Oh, yeah? <laughs> One who tries to sail three boats simultaneously should be careful not to go overboard. <laughs> come and hang out with me at Scent of Spring sometime, okay? <laughs> uh... <laughs> three perfumes over to the Statue of the Seven. Mr. Zhang, he's probably been waiting a while. I think I'll need to stay away from half for some time, won't I? <laughs> I was I should have been standing here in the rain just looking at this. We've brought the perfumes, Mr. Zhang Li. Did we take too long? You were just staring up at the statue. Uh, oh, you're back. Don't worry, I haven't waited long. Aww. Compared to the watch that Rex Lapis's statues have kept over Liu, this was but a brief moment. Boy, well, you've been studying here for like 10 hours or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, how can a person compete with a statue? That is true. Well, have you brought the perfumes? Yes, Three sir. Sets. And not one less. <sighs> Thank you both. Let us offer them up. Offer Golden House Maiden. This is the first kind of perfume. Miss Yinger said that it's sweet as a dream, and it's liked by younger ladies. This is the second kind. It's got an elegant smell, and the daughters of high society love it. The third kind has a gentle but lingering fragrance. Something, something like the dusk mist. <laughs> and it's a favorite of mature ladies. I think he liked that one. Oh, what was that? Yes, for final answers. It looks like Rex Lapis really likes this one. That's the one older ladies like, right? Does that mean that Rex Lapis is actually an older lady? <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> perhaps. Perhaps. Rex Lapis has taken on countless forms. Perhaps that really was one of them. <laughs> what a shame. We only got to see the giant dragon form, and... <sighs> Let's hope the chi Sing can catch the real killer. Oh, We can leave that to the authorities. Let us focus on the fond farewell for Rex Lapis. Oh, dear, your motives to child and the creasing have. So, we finished another step in our preparations. What's next? Next, I would like the two of you to help me borrow the cleansing bell. Oh, God. I'm having flashbacks with Auntie now. Last time. <laughs> Last time he asked me to borrow something. And end up being stolen. Cleansing bell. At present, a friend of mine named Madame Ping Ooh. is the guardian of the cleansing bell. She lives near Eugene Terrace. If you ask her, she will know what to do. Okay. Sure, but aren't you going to come with us? Ah, I have certain reasons why I cannot be there in person. Please, do this for me. Okay. Man. Why is he got to be so secretive this time? I don't know. <laughs> kind of sexy, I like it. <laughs> that smells divine. Realm within. Oh, to Madam Ping. Okay. First. Let us... Figure out which perfume Rex Lapis is fond of. Nice. 
I want to get pretty dark out now. Half three. Hmm. Am I weird, guys, for liking to have my clock an hour ahead? I don't know why. I just really like it. In my clock right now it shows that it's 428 when it's actually 328. I don't know why, I just... <laughs> Ah, I see. This is Madame Ping, is it? This Adepti, eh? Ah, oh, okay, I guess not. All things must change. I was about to pick that. Are you alright? Uh, it's nothing. It's nothing. I just thought it a great shame that so many of these glazed lilies have wilted. No. What happened to them? Back in my day, people said that glazed lilies can read human hearts. They are very beautiful plants, though. If they heard beautiful sounds like laughter and singing, they would also bloom joyfully. But if they heard too much wild gossip or slander, they would quickly wither away. Uh -oh. So that means these flowers feel what's happening in Lila? Yes, the rumors of Rex Lapis's death are no small matter. They are everywhere. Some say it was a Fatui plot. Others say that the Chising made it all up. And still others think that that which lies in the deep is breaking free. And what does that mean? This harbor is like a mountain of dry tinder. One spark, and the fire will consume us all. A lot of what she's saying does make a lot of sense, though. That's a really good way to describe Liwei at the moment. Well, I shall say no more. This old woman's grown too old and naggy. <laughs> Did you have something to say, youngster? I won't lie, whoever this is that's voice acting her has done an amazing job. Like, seriously, conveying those emotions like that? Don't make me tear up, god damn. You like to borrow the cleansing bath? Ah, that old trinket. <laughs> I remember it being here with me, but I've grown old. <laughs> I can't quite recall where it is exactly. An old friend of mine used to wear it on his person. Back when I was young. Oh. He saw me gazing at it often and gave it to me. No. That's long lay. But he told me then that if someone should come to borrow that bell, I should not be loath to part with it. It has been many years, and who knows how many times someone has come to borrow this bell. Oh? Still, though, I can't recall when it started. It's been a long time since anyone has come to borrow it. Oh, these old bones are so slow to look for things. I doubt you can wait that long. I am Knight of Paponius Satisfied Lost Property Finder. <laughs> it's nice to see you at Cherry. Right? And I doubt you understood a single thing I said. I just slapped that entire sentence with her. What a weird thing to be proud of. Hey, shut it. All right, children. There is no need to worry. I didn't place the bell very far away. Uh, do you live near here? Whoa, but this is Eugene Terrace. It's gotta be expensive. <laughs> She's talking about a teapot, ain't she? Oh, an old lady like me can't afford to buy a place in this city. See this ceramic teapot? Yep. My entire household is in here. How does that work? And you go find one. What? There's no way, Pymon. <laughs> would fit in there. And why do you need Paimon to go in anyway? Can't you just 
<laughs> look inside? Oh, youngsters. I simply mean that the bell is somewhere inside this teapot, and you are quite welcome to borrow it. If you can find it. <laughs> oh, I like this game. Oh, she's playing right now. Such Madam Ping's pot. And in we go. Our first look into the teapot. Oh my word, this is an old one. Look at the cobwebs in here. Huh? Where are we? What just happened? <laughs> Youngsters, this is where this old woman keeps all her things. Quickly now, go fetch that bell. Oh dear, so many cobwebs. <laughs> it seems I really haven't cleaned it in a long while. <laughs> Sorry to trouble you, children. Please help an old lady clean up. Oh, there are slimes too. <laughs> Can't exactly oh, use Keijing's ult, this can we? But they're all in the end, goddammit. Uh, we can't push them all off, though. That's something we can't do. Uh, 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 okay. They're not doing too much damage right, are they? I love this game so much. It really does have such a beautiful world building to it, doesn't it? It really does. Like, games that can make you feel emotion, whether it be anger or sadness, that's how you know they're good games. Same with shows too. If they can make you feel emotion, but you will remember that show. Simple as that. I mean, sure, good action and that lot too is always nice in them, but shows that can properly convey emotion. Well, that's nice when they balance out. Ouch. That's a cute bill. Yeah, but as long as the show balances out to it, then it's, it'll be a really good and memorable show. But if they focus too much on one side of it, especially riling up a person's anger, not so good. I reminds me of a film called The Mist. That religious lady in that, oh my god, I could not, really good film except for her, if they removed her, it'd be a pretty good film, but I cannot watch it again after that, god damn. You know, with such a special teapot and the cleansing bells, do you think this old granny could also be an adeptus? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but don't they all live in Jillian Karst? No, not all of them. What would she say in the city? Huh? Yeah. No escape. Huh. 
true. That's actually something I'm curious about. I'm pretty sure there is a reason for it. Oh, God. Okay, very good. Whoopsie daisy. Yeah, I can't remember what the reason is, actually. I wonder why she stayed in the city. I'm mean, taking a couple guesses. I actually wish to see how the people went on to. Perhaps she was more affectionate with the people, too. And the other adeptile, because... I mean, we've seen how the other adept I are with people, haven't we? They're not exactly the most welcoming. After all, aren't they? So. Go on, Baron Bunny. Oh, I didn't even do that much. At least for Hydro Slimes at the end. More electro. Hydro and Quire by this, anyway. Before we get frozen solid. That go, go, Speed of light. There we go. One step back, two forward. There's so nice to play these story missions again though especially after having to sit on them for so long waiting until i finally record again oh what the hell was that then oh well there's two electro ones right good Okay. Decided by destiny. There we go. This is going to take a while. Don't blink. Delve into destiny. Oh god, that does like no damage. That does more damage, honestly. Crumble apart. There we go. Nice. That doesn't do much. It's like half of what Peaching does. <laughs> there we go. Come on, why didn't this activate? Look how much damage Keychain does regularly, you know. You've got to love it, don't you? There we go. Oh, and now it activates. Got to love it. Activate wind current. Um, how many levels does this teapot have? <laughs> it would be nice if we had one of these too. Or at least we wouldn't have to camp outside. Well, actually, we don't exactly have a place, do we? Ain't this nice? Be nice to build our own teapot up again, too, you know. Oh, here it is. That's beautiful, ain't it? Hold on. Oh, really? <laughs> Can't take a picture? Oh, but I suppose a screenshot will have to do. Boom. Oh, you found it. <laughs> Youngsters are so quick on their feet. Oh, look, look at all that jade. Let me see. All right, that'll do. <laughs> Come on out now, children. Hmm. She has a lot of goodies in there. Shame if they would go missing. <laughs> oh, in and out in no time. You youngsters really are quick. Are you a to Are you an adeptus man? An adeptus. Oh. I haven't heard anyone say those words in earnest for a long time. Oh. As to whether I am one or not, child. Surely you already understand. Uh, it's not exactly something you need to ask, is it? Hyman uh, kinda knows what you mean. But is also kinda 
confused. Are you really giving <laughs> us the bell just like that, Granny? Don't you think it's weird? Something's just happened to Rex Lapis, and then we come running up asking for it? Oh, don't be silly. Liyue Harbor has been through a great deal in its history. In that time, it has seen the departure of countless Adepti. Hmm. Well, Rex Lapis is a bit of a bigger deal, isn't he? But no matter what, we have always performed the rite of parting first before any other matters. To cry, catch the murderer at the top of one's lungs, but ignore the rite of parting. That, to me, is what is wrong-headed. Aww. That's a nice way to think about it, you know? Now that you have come to borrow the bell, I guess that perhaps an old friend of mine has finally decided to take matters into their own hands. Ooh. So, why would I be unwilling to lend you the bell? Can I keep it? What if... <laughs> yeah, can I keep it? Hey! It belongs to Granny! <laughs> We're supposed to return what we borrow! Oh, let you keep it. <laughs> you really are a frank uh child. <laughs> If you want it, you can keep it. Oh, another thing to my unique collectible con collection. But this bell gets homesick sometimes. Who knows? It might find its way back into these old hands. I wouldn't be surprised. It just suddenly like grows a pair of really muscular legs and starts running back to her. Well, <laughs> you must have things to do. Since you have the bell, you should return. Oh, and do tell the person who sent you that if they have time, they can come over for tea. I don't have much to offer, but you can always count on an old lady for a pot of tea. No. We will. Thanks, Granny. It's Baker on the inside. You know, spending time with Madam Peng is... It's actually soothed my heart a bit, you know. I really liked that encounter with her. That's the one I kept there it is. I kept seeing in the background on news here somewhere. Yeah, I think we're going to end the episode there for today. But if you liked, leave a like and... Up to next time, next episode I won't be so sick. Yeah, see you all next time. Goodbye.